Hello, I am Nitesh Prasan from LabDev Programming. In this video, we will see how can we customize the LabDev class. Okay, so let's start. In the previous video, I explained how can we create the class in a LabDev projects and how can we create this kind of subclass. Okay, dynamic classes, static classes, and own classes. Okay, so one we uh, this my numeric class we had designed by the dynamic classes okay uh, using the static we had designed this copy class and uh, this one the last one uh, which uh, i had designed by my own programming so now let's see how can we uh, control how can we customize why we need to customize first let's discuss about that if i will right click in the class and i will come into the new and I will click in the VI. So you will get this front panel and block diagram. Properly, you will get this front panel and block diagram. Okay. But so this one is a block diagram, this one is front panel. If you will drag this my class dot CLT. Okay, dot CLT means it is a customized controlled. Okay. It is so it is custom control defined. So if I will take this my class, okay. So we will take this, we will find this my class dot lv class, my class dot lv class terminal in the block diagram. And if I will right click here and try to take anything. So this is empty, there is nothing. There is no any, okay, there is nothing, uh, nothing, this is empty. How can we know? Let's check it. So for that, delete this one, delete this one. Let's come here, right click and open. When you will again let's right click and open when you will open so it will open your control editors it is a control editors now we can insert okay it's control ed editors inside this control editor this one okay uh, this one is our cluster unconfigured cluster so let's take one numeric and put number <clears throat> stop let's convert it into the mechanical action okay play and let's change the number play third one string <clears throat> W R writer name and after that we have this one numeric control take this one and right click right click in, in this numeric first click here and uncheck the increment decrement button now second one right click change to array change to array you can convert this numeric to the array directly from this platform now <clears throat> okay let's increase left to right uh, no need to increase select all come here check it again select all drag inside the cluster and place now it is a cluster now it is our cluster right click and save yes save okay now new define class define class new define class okay <laughs> let's see we had saved right click close now this is my new define class in my class dot lv class this is my new defined class vi it is front panel it is block diagram in the front panel let's drag it my class it is my class dot clt if you will come into the block diagram so now we can now let's take one more functions no need to take any functions uh, we can directly right click we can use unbundle by name you can connect this unbundle by name here and you can configure as per your requirement you can configure the things okay whatever you want you can use 
okay if you want to use the event structure you can use event structure while loop for loop whatever as per your requirement you can use so let's see either you can click and you can array if you will use array so you can use this one also inside this array we can use and sorry inside the array we can use and we can select anything and we can insert okay so in this way you can configure and you can use the your object oriented class you can define your class you can define your class and you can use your class now here if you want so we can transfer the complete data outside just a second you can take input and output from this way either you can take the output from this way also right click come here take bundle functions now right click and connect now click an array so we can manipulate whatever you want we can manipulate this array here the value the array so if you want so we can put this random numbers okay and we can update sorry we can update our class right click create indicators if you will create indicator so it will be output class and it will input class you can define it and now you can save so if you want to design object oriented programming okay so you can use you can uh, start from this platform uh, this uh, kind of small programming so thank you for watching this video in the next video i will show you how we can uh, use this uh, customize class okay so thank you